What is going down, YouTube, Niner Empire, Danny G in the house? The Niners go down to SoFi Stadium, also known as Levi Stadium South. Fancy candlestick, or just whatever you want to call it. But one thing I know is that when the Rams PA announcer yells this, Jesus! the correct answer is that it is the 49ers house. The Niners always take over that stadium because the Rams are a joke of a franchise and they don't have that many fans. That's just a fact. Now, if I'm being perfectly honest, I feel bad for some of the few loyal Rams fans there are because when I've been making videos on here for 14 years, making TTC videos, talking shit to my division rivals. And back in the day, I don't think there's really any Rams fans making videos nowadays. It's just been crickets, but there used to be Rams fans that would make videos on here that would trash talk. And this was when the Rams were the St. Louis Rams. Of course, they were originally in L.A., and then they moved to St. Louis, and I believe it was like 1995, if I'm not mistaken. When the Rams were in St. Louis, and the night I would make hate with videos against the Rams, I would be responding to Los Angeles Rams fans, even though the team was in St. Louis. There was not one single Rams fan on here that had any connection to St. Louis. There's not one, there was not one St. Louis Cardinals fan that was also a St. Louis Rams fan. You did not see that at all. In fact, oddly enough, there was a St. Louis fan that was an Arizona Cardinals fan that repped the Cardinals that was from St. Louis because they were originally in St. Louis. And there was this one Rams fan I remember that, want, that he didn't even call them the St. Louis Rams. He called them the Los Angeles Rams. So then when the Rams did move back to Los Angeles in 2016, I expected them to have a big home field advantage. But what do they get? They get invaded, they get dominated by fans of other teams, especially the 49er fans, whenever they play there. But I'll tell you what, I have a bitter taste in my mouth because I went to the NFC Championship game. I was there, the 2021-2022 NFC Championship game, a game that the 49ers should have had. The only game that they lost, that they beat them three, they beat them twice that year in the regular season, but then they lost to them in the game that matters. I got a bitter taste in my mouth if Jacoski Chart would have had that, would have caught that interception, blah, blah. Hey, bottom line, the Rams did win that game. They did. And they went on to win the Super Bowl. So I got a bitter taste in my fucking mouth that the Rams won that Super Bowl. And, then, and they've won one in my lifetime, and my team still hasn't. So the Niners are going to continue to dominate the Rams. They've swept them every year in the regular season since 2019. And the Niners' defense is ranked number one overall. Now, I know you guys put up 30 points against the Seattle Seahawks, but that's a defense that's ranked 24th overall. Now you're facing a defense that's ranked number one overall in the entire league with Nick Bosa, Talano Hufunga, Javon Hargrave, Drake Jackson, Fred Warner. This defense is going to continue to dominate Matthew Stafford, Cam Akers, and the Rams offense and the Rams defense I'm not scared of the Rams defense you got Aaron Donald on your defense who's a beast who's a game wrecker who's a big time playmaker but you're gonna need more players than just that if you're gonna stop this explosive offense with Christian McCaffrey Brock Purdy is on a fucking mission Brock Purdy in the latest power rankings is ranked in the, is in the top 10 quarterbacks for the, the current power rankings right now in the NFL. Brock Purdy's on a fucking mission. Christian McCaffrey is going to be running all over your guys' weak-ass defense. Debo Samuel is a big Lambs killer. He's going to continue to do that. Brandon Ayuk is going to continue where he left off last week. So let's fucking go. Let's get this dub. Let's go to 2-0. Danny G is out. Let's go Niners. Peace!